Hi, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Yes, this Kermit really is from close to my heart. Now, I know you're all thinking about all the cartridges you own and you're thinking I own every single close to my heart cartridge in Cricut. How can this be? Well, this is something I've done before and I actually designed it first in Cricut Craft Room and then brought it over to Design Space. So let me show you how I made this Kermit. I went in and I found different shapes in art philosophy and I thought about the shapes of Kermit's face and his eyes and his little, uh, oh, whatever this is right here. I don't even know what it is, uh, but I thought about the shape of that. And as I was looking through the different shapes in art philosophy, I thought, wow, these shapes are there. For example, this little bird wing right here, this bird. If you take him and you ungroup him, you can pull this wing out. Then you can actually hide contour on it, like so. Then you can bring it over and you can manipulate that shape by unlocking it and pulling it wider or longer. It gets, keep it in proportion. But as you're changing it, you can really get different shapes out of that. So, obviously I didn't need this bird, so I'll just move him off. So this is one of the shapes that I used in this part right here, and I'll just move his face away. And you can see that this shape is this shape right here. Now, this artiste leaf I manipulated and turned to make these two pieces. And then these two pieces are just triangles. I just simply um, ungrouped this triangle right here, pulled this away. I didn't need it anymore. And I believe I just made it a little bit more narrow, like so, and then sized it appropriately. For the eyeballs, I forgot to pull the piece I needed to show you, but it's a, it's a club. It's like on a card, you know, the club, like the heart, the diamond, the spade. Well, it's the club. And I just simply used, I went over here to um, insert shapes, and I usually pick a circle or a square. And in this case, I think I picked a circle. And then you can take the circle and again, you can unlock it and make it wider, make it more narrow. And then you can cut into different shapes so that you could actually lay this over that club. I'll give you an idea. Put it in, slice it, pull this away, and you end up with just this piece. So that's how I got his eyes. I did the same thing with this piece. I pulled it to get this and his little tongue just by making it more narrow, pulling in an oval, getting it to the correct size, matching up my corners, and then again, you can manipulate it, change the actual shape of this to more narrow or more wide, bring this down, and slice it. Now remember, whenever you slice, you cannot slice a grouped image. So obviously, you would have to ungroup this first. And then you could come in and slice this piece. And then all you would end up with out of it is just this bottom part right here. And that would give you your mouth. For the eyes, I took this oval piece, and again, I ungrouped, pulled this off, then pulled my circle, and again, I could have pulled the circle from over there. Either way would have worked. Pulled my circle in, made it 
approximately the size I wanted, put it here, copy my circle, paste, that gives me another circle exactly the same size, stuck it over, and then I welded this. So I select, come over and hit weld, and then I just cut this like this, and then I just hand cut what I wanted to hand cut. For this piece, I did the same thing. I joined everything together so that I would like the way it would look with my little Kermie head. And then, after grouping it and being able to manipulate it and move it, I simply select, weld it, and I end up cutting this shape. Move Kermit's head back to the front. I can hit arrange up here, move to front. And there he is. So basically, that's how I got Kermit out of art philosophy, artiste, and artistry. Basically, by slicing and welding and doing a little hand cutting, and then coming back in with a Sharpie and just drawing in these lines right here and outlining here and here, you can end up with just about any design you want, any cartoon character. Now, I've also done some um, Charlie Browns. I've done some Snoopies in his dog house. Um, I really, I really enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. So I encourage you to check out your cartridges and check out the shapes in art philosophy. If you have the close to my heart cartridges, there are so many shapes in there that you can manipulate and change. It's really a lot of fun and quite incredible the different things you can do with it. So here he is again, Mr. Kermit. Uh, this piece happens to be from the new cartridge, which is um, Artistry, and this uh, stamp sentiment is from Artistry also. It comes in the uh, collection. So, hope you enjoyed my little bit of magic today, and uh, good luck if you have any questions about it. Just leave me a comment or... Uh, contact me through my blog. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.